Ontario's new vaccine passport system has many downloading their proof of vaccination from the government website and on to smartphones. And soon, yes, people will be able to use an app. But the new requirement and its use of technology has some advocates worried that many seniors and those with disabilities could be left behind. Joining us now to talk about this is David Leposky, Chair of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act Alliance. David, great to see you. We appreciate you joining us to uh, talk about this important issue. Highlight some of the barriers that seniors and those with disabilities face when it comes to accessing this passport system. Well, the first problem is that it's going to be available through a smartphone app. We understand that, but there are many people with disabilities and seniors who live in poverty who either can't afford a smartphone or can't use one um, or can't afford the data plan you'd need to be able to uh, access the app. We haven't seen the app yet, so that leads us to the second problem, which even for those who get them, uh, people like me who are blind, uh, we use uh, smartphones all the time if we're lucky enough to be able to afford one, but only with apps that are designed to be accessible, to work with the voice that reads out loud to us. That's not Siri, it's called VoiceOver uh, on the iPhone. If the app is designed to be accessible, yeah, we can use it. If, again, if we could afford one. The problem is we don't have any assurance yet that the government will ensure that the app is in fact designed to be accessible. Many are, many aren't. The thing is that the Ford government has such a poor track record of on accessibility for people with disabilities that we don't have any confidence they'll get it right. And, and like we're nonpartisan, let me be clear, the federal liberal government released an Arrive Can app for people coming into Canada during COVID uh, uh, and uh, to process their paperwork to be able to come over the border. That had accessibility barriers that's been appointed the, uh, uh, covered in the media. Uh, the third barrier I wanna just tell you about quickly is this, the whole idea here, which is a completely uh, uh, laudable one, is to get everybody vaccinated. Well, people with disabilities from the start have faced barriers in trying to get vaccinated because our healthcare system is so replete with itself with disability barriers. Now, a number eventually could, I did, but it's it wasn't easy. If the government wants to get people vaccinated, that's what this is all about. What they need to do is to, uh, un, uh, uh, right now, uh, uh, launch an aggressive program for ensuring that vaccination opportunities are fully accessible for people with disabilities and seniors with a one-stop shopping phone number you can call. Uh, now, what does the government say in response? Oh, well, you, even if you don't have a smartphone, you can download and, and print up your, your, uh, your vaccine certificate. Well, that's great. Again, if you've got enough money and the skills to use a computer, own a computer and have internet access, and there are people right. who don't. And I was going to mention that, too, because, I mean, you're talking about a phone, but, you know, a lot of people don't even have a com uh, computer and be able to print it. And there are a lot of other issues. And you also highlight something. We don't have a lot of time, David, but you also highlight uh, issues for those with medical conditions who can't get uh, a vaccine and some of the, the challenges with that. We have about 30 seconds. What we need is a vaccine exemption certificate. So you don't have to get it from your doctor. You need to get a government passport the equivalent to the passport that you can present that just that shows that you validly can't get the exemption so that you don't face discrimination either look these are important issues and we really appreciate you highlighting them and shedding light on this because these are conversations that need to be had we knew this was going to happen we certainly have a template with the federal government arrive can app and in what's happening in quebec Hopefully we can learn and make things better. David Lepofsky, Chair of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act Alliance. We appreciate this, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.